So you wanna skate like me? Well, first thing you have to do is stop caring about literally everything. Welcome back everybody. I just want to say first off, thank you to all the subscribers who tune in every week. Um, thank you to all the members. I really appreciate you guys so much. If you'd like to become a member and help support the channel, you can do so. I also have a Patreon if you want to subscribe to that. But yeah, let's talk about gear. So now so many people ask me all the time, what wheels do I use? What frames do I use? What liners do I use? The laces, the socks, all that good stuff. And some of you guys might not like what I'm about to say, but personally, I just get the cheapest everything. Now, um, of course, right off the bat, uh, everybody's a little bit different. So some people might have dirt, different issues with their feet, different things that they need to accommodate to. And for that, you, you might need special products, um, such as like different socks, if you have a lot of like um, chafing or get a lot of blisters or something like that on your ankles. Um, of course, buy whatever you need to buy to make yourself comfortable when you're skating. But as far as like, you know, the certain things like frames and wheels and bearings and liners, I personally don't really buy anything special. Um, these are the skates that I've had for around seven, eight years now, I think. And they're the same skate that I've always had. You know, it's kind of hard to see. They're super messed up. They're really scuffed. The frame on here is the original frame that came with this skate. The only thing I really ever change out is the wheels, the bearings, and every so often the liner because the liner will get worn down. Over the course of maybe a year, I change my liners. Um, people ask me how often I change my wheels. Is um, I change my wheels probably about every six months or so. Depends on how much I'm skating, how much I'm skating at the rink, how much I'm skating outside. Uh, and honestly, I'll be the first to admit that I don't rotate my wheels very well. I kind of let them go for a while and they get pretty messed up. But, you know, a pair of wheels usually last me around six months or so. But um, as far as frames go, I mean, I don't think frames make too much of a difference unless you want to get something really specific like a 90 millimeter rockered frame with like an endless setup. It might make a difference. And again, since I haven't tried many different products, I'm kind of like not the best consultant on this because I haven't tried it. So it could make a big difference. But personally, I mean, you guys see how I skate, you guys see all the tricks that I do, and I do it all in just the most stock basic thing that you can think of. Um, bearings are something I do want to talk about a little bit. Bearings can make a difference, all right? I, I recently got sent a pair of ceramic bearings, well, half ceramic, they weren't full ceramic bearings. And I could tell that it was a little bit easier to roll. You may get a little bit better top speed but unless you're doing something like speed skating or super long distance where you're actually timing yourself trying to be competitive you don't really need to spend a couple hundred dollars on bearings the bearings that i've used for 10 years are bones red bearings i think it's the cheapest bearings that you can buy on amazon i think it's like 20 dollars for a pack and that's what's in here right now you know um if you want to see how bad it really is when it comes to me not caring about my skates, look at this wheel right here. I'm going to spin these ones. See that? Now look at this one. There's no spin on it at all. And that's just because, like, I don't know. I go skate, and I don't really think about it. I mean, of course, I probably should change this. I'll, I'll change it soon. But, I mean, this wheel has been stuck like this for the better part of two months, I would say. And I just have been too lazy to change it. I've skated so many times with the wheel just like this. Um, would it be wise to change it? Yeah, probably. But at the end of the day, like it rolls. I don't really find it too difficult to kind of just use a little bit of extra leg muscle. <laughs> and I'm not joking with you guys. This is, this is like really the wheel that I use. Um, as far as liners go, I get the stock Seba liner because it fits. This is the Seba FR original boot. So I get the original FR liner that is like the cheapest one. I think it's like $60 for a set of them. Um, I heard intuition liners are good, but then again, you're still paying a couple hundred dollars for some liners that are only going to last you a year. And it is the investment worth it. It could be, but I mean, is it really going to change the way you skate? No, it might make it a little bit more comfortable, but that's about it. Um, when it comes to wheels, these wheels are 80 millimeter flat wheels and they're one of the cheapest on Amazon. I think it's like $60 for a whole set. 
and uh, they're 85A hardness and mainly I only get them or I only started getting them because they're orange and it fits the skate. There's no other reason than that. I, I just like the style of them. I like the look of them. Um, I've tried other wheels in the past. I don't really see a whole lot of difference between different wheels and hardness and material. Now granted again it could be just from not having the experience of other stuff but it doesn't change the way you're going to skate. It's not going to make a huge difference in your ability to skate just buying all this different gear. So I usually try to recommend people try not to overthink their gear purchases too much because I mean if you want to get the latest and greatest stuff and you have the money to do it then by all means go ahead and do it you know who am I to stop you but at the end of the day it's not going to change the way you skate and I think people get so wrapped up in their head that they're, they need the ceramic bearings, they need the intuition liners, they need the endless frames, and then you're spending like over a thousand dollars just for your whole skate setup, and then when you need to get new bearings, you're spending more money out of pocket later on down the road. Um, I'm, I personally just buy the cheapest stuff I can even think of. Uh, people always ask me about socks, if I get different sports socks and stuff. I honestly get the cheapest socks that you can get. These right here are the socks that I rock in all of my skating sessions. They are gold toe, <laughs> long socks. As long as they're long like this, it's fine by me. I get these from Kohl's. I get a whole pack of them for, I don't know, $20 or something like that. And they, they last forever until they get holes in them. I just, I, I don't really try to complicate and overthink my gear when it comes to skating. I think the most important thing should be having fun and like I said, if you have a certain issue, like you have blisters or maybe your foot is shaped a certain way, then by all means, it would be wise to try different things. But if it's not causing an issue with comfort, I don't think it's really necessary to go out and spend all this money on crazy gear and crazy things and this and that. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it's not going to change the way you skate. I don't ever want to get into a position where I've been riding ceramic bearings for however long and it's almost like a superstition at that point. You're like, I need ceramic bearings in order to be able to skate. And then it comes to a point where either you maybe can't afford the ceramic bearings or you get another pair of bearings that are cheap and you, it kind of gets in your head of like, oh, I'm not skating the way I should be skating. Just go out and have fun. Try not to overcomplicate it. Try not to overthink it. Is it wrong to go out and buy different stuff to try different stuff to see what you like? No, I think you should go have fun. If that's the, your way of having fun, then go ahead. But especially for new skaters, um, I see people or people message me and say, oh, what skates I should get? And then they start asking me, oh, should I get these bearings? Should I get this frame, this two, three hundred dollar endless frames or whatever it may be? And it's like you haven't even gave skating a chance. You shouldn't be buying all these products because you think it's going to make you like a better skater. I mean, if, if, it, if I was in a position where I didn't even have these skates, I would have fun with, you know, the hundred dollar pair of skates that are, you know, from rollerblade <laughs> and I would still have fun. Um, either way, when it comes to gear, I really, really just kind of go with the flow and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As long as you're having fun, I mean, look at, this is the other skate. Those two are good. This one, these two bottom ones are not good. So yeah, that's kind of my take on gear. If you have any recommendations that you want me to try, I've been trying to get in contact with Endless Frames to have them send me a pair of frames to try out. I do want to do that one day. I don't really want to pay that much money for frames when I don't know if I'm going to use them because uh, I'm perfectly satisfied with the stuff that comes stock with the skate. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And when you're talking about like certain different slits and different weight ratios and stuff like that, I mean, is it really gonna make that big of an impact unless you're doing something like super pr professional where you're competing? That's when I think you should worry about different types of gear that make minuscule differences because it's really not gonna overall impact your skating ability. And I think you should focus on just having fun, like I said, and, and just trying to be the best skater you can be with what you have. Um, I just hate when people go out and spend a whole bunch of money and they end up not using it or it doesn't even make that big of a difference. But like I said, if you enjoy trying out different products and having fun with that, then by all means, go buy everything on the market. <laughs> but for me, I've had these skates for eight years. I've only changed the wheels and the liner and a couple times the laces and that's really it. There hasn't, I mean, look how scuffed. These things are in horrible shape. It's probably not even gonna focus because it's so bright, but you see these things are just absolutely trashed. I try not to complicate it, you know? Stay simple, 
have fun skating. Um, sorry if you guys came here looking for gear recommendation. Uh, my recommendation is just to have fun. I know it sounds cliche, I know it sounds kind of lame, but I promise you, if you're on the fence about buying a $300 pair of frames, you're better off not getting it unless you know it's gonna like be something that you ride for years down the line. Um, Cause if not, I think it's just not really a waste of money, but your money could be spent elsewhere. Yeah, hopefully this uh, changed your guys' mindset a little bit on how you view certain gear and what you think is acceptable. And yeah, if I missed out on anything, please comment if there's something you want me to try because you really think it's gonna make a difference and I have to absolutely try it, please comment down below. I'll do my best to maybe take the plunge and try some different stuff, but I'm real old school and old fashioned when it comes to my skates. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you to all the members and subscribers, like I said. And go check out the playlist, all the other videos in the description. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to ring that notification bell.